Now we're gonna take our measurements. It can be found right there. Uh, what it does is on this system, it gives a fuel level of three millimeters, okay? And then it describes in here where to take that measurement and how to take it. Basically, that's a wet uh, number that when you have the carb bowl assembled on there and uh, you have this leveled off, you would take a uh, vinyl tubing and you would measure from the top of the uh, float bowl to uh, the fuel level and it should be at three millimeters. Um, what I'm gonna do right now, I'll do the fuel level later, but I'm gonna be extra sure to do float height, which is a dry number where there's no fuel in here and it's gonna be 17.5 plus or minus 0.5 millimeters. And so how we're gonna take that measurement is uh, with the use of a vernier caliper right here. And uh, so we get it zeroed out. And then we're gonna take it all the way to 17.5, go and then lock it down. Screw that tab in so you can't move it. And we're at 17.5, we're gonna use the bottom end of this. And they're not real clear about this. They don't tell you in the book where to measure from. Now the float needle needs to be resting gently on the tip of the float needle and not depressing the spring inside to get an accurate measurement. But it's hard to take a measurement and hold the carb at an angle without the float pin falling out. While it's just sitting here, the floats don't weigh enough to depress it. You can see right here that it hits that and then it's it's not actually pushing down on that spring. So we can take our measurements just like that. So if you take the measurement from the inside lip of the float bowl to the tip of the float, it comes out to the spec. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep it just like that. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is take a, a wet height and see if it's three millimeters. And if, it is, if it's not, then uh, I'll make my adjustments and then see, but they are all pretty much the same. And you wanna measure from both sides too. That one's a little high. Checking the wet float level on these carbs. And uh, as you can see, I have the dots on here roughly to where uh, the spec is. The middle dot is three millimeters from the top of the car carb bowl, starting there. And then this is plus a millimeter and minus a millimeter. And it's gotta be in between those, the lowest mark and the highest mark. And so that's what they all were. As you can see, uh, they turned out pretty decent. Uh, and this is the setup that I use to get it to, to test it. And uh, basically I just had a little quart funnel attached to tubes and, uh, and then into the carb system. But um, it did make a little bit of a mess, but I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. And uh, everything is up to spec. So uh, we shouldn't have any problems when it gets back on the bike. I'm also checking for leaks at the same time as well as I can, especially in here on the fuel lines. You really want to make sure that those are not leaking and uh, that they are good to go.